Most people in this area believe that uh, the cave actually dates about two million years in terms of the sediments that are uh, represented in the cave. They're what we call alluvial sediments, sediments that were deposited by flowing water. Um, based on the discovery of the giant ground sloth, Megalonyx jeffersoni, and the flat-headed peccary, Platygonus compressus, um, and the direct dating of the collagen in the bones of those animals, um, which shows they're actually about 20,000 radiocarbon years um, old. Uh, we, that's the last glacial maximum. Uh, I believe that these deposits actually are Pleistocene in age. Uh, they could be quite older, but uh, the optically stimulated luminescence dating, the OSL dating, uh, should be able to determine beyond reasonable doubt, well, it will determine beyond reasonable doubt uh, the age of these deposits. There's probably about eight labs that date sediment in the, in the US. Well, what we'll do is we'll extract the quartz from this and then we'll shine light on the quartz in the, the laboratory and the quartz gives off a luminescence. It's like when you shine light on a watch. We can measure that glow. And that glow is a function of how long it's been in the ground, how much radiation is in the ground. Because the radiation basically excites the crystal, which causes electrons to move around and get caught in traps. So shining light on it again releases those electrons that give off photons, so uh, give off light. And that's called luminescence. It's called luminescence okay. So we, we basically get rid of all the, the electrons that are trapped, it gives off the luminescence, and that's what's called a natural signal. And then we artificially irradiate it with different amounts of radiation to try and match up the luminescence artificially irradiated in the sample of what's the natural. And since we know how much radiation is needed to do that, and if we know how much radiation is in the ground here, then we can calculate the age. So it means that just from a sediment we can know how long that sediment was last exposed to light.